Well, some barely visible, but nevertheless important progress made on this. We've now got um, the front brake all piped in and uh, working. Um, I've also connected up the alternator to this regulator rectifier here. Um, I haven't yet connected it to the battery because um, we've got other things to consider that want wiring into the battery as well but um, basically this block connector this one here is the positive and negative from the battery I've got a positive and negative there um, coming out of the regulator rectifier uh, which is obviously that's where the uh, charge from the alternator gets regulated and rectified and can head for the battery but Somewhere in, along this lot, my brother apparently wants to wire up some of it, so uh, I'm going to leave it there for now on that. But um, it's all ready to charge when we want it to. And what I can do, I've got the uh, ignition system timed and checked, and I've just wired it up, sort of jury rigged it for now, uh, just so that I could uh, check if we had sparks. And uh, we've got sparks. But funnily enough, it's got two random old plugs in it, and it one's an NGK and one's a Champion. I thought I'd treat it to some new ones, and um, it's quite tight to kick over this engine, uh, especially using a kickstart by hand. I even tried it in top gear, spinning the wheel with the plugs out, and it's, it turns. But uh, I found I could get sparks from the old plugs, but when I put the new ones in. There were no sparks, although I could make them spark by disconnecting the uh, live wire to the uh, black box. So they will work, but for now I've got the old plugs in because I've actually seen sparks coming from them. We got oil in the tank. I've also added clips to the oil pipes where they meet the engine's pipes. So that's all secure and sorted. Basically... What we need to do next, we've got some starting rollers, uh, electric starting rollers, and uh, like I say, with this thing being a little bit stiff, probably what we're going to do is take the plugs out, run it in gear on the starting rollers, get some oil circulating. I've already uh, established that we've got a good feed coming from the pump, and it's actually um, scavenging uh, from... Uh, the oil that I poured into the crankcase via the rocker boxes, etc. So I know that the lubrication side of everything's going to be all right, but um, we're probably not far off going for our first start. I'll have to rig up a fuel tank because uh, the one that we've got for this is very, very smart and nice, and we don't really want to put that on until the very end. So I'll rig some sort of temporary fuel supply up to it, and probably, maybe even tomorrow. Uh, weather and other things permitting we might have a go at actually starting this but uh, technically give it fuel connect the battery up to the ignition and it should actually start up so uh, like I say that should be coming soon if things go according to plan but uh, I made some worthwhile but barely visible progress like I said and that's where I'm rounding it off for today.